The third aspect is that we are also reforming our education system to make it fit for purpose in the 21st century. Following the recommendation of various task force forces, my administration initiated the competency-based curriculum reforms in 2016. CBC seeks to, number one, identify and nurture every learner's potential. Secondly, to emphasize practical learning as opposed to theoretical teaching. Thirdly, to emphasize application of knowledge and acquisition of competencies as opposed to just routine memorization of content. Fourthly, to provide opportunities for acquisition of values and participation in community service learning. Fifth, to provide pathways and tracks in senior secondary school that are aligned to the broad abilities and career interests of learners. And lastly, to balance formative and summative assessments in all our training curricula. The rollout of the CBC curriculum is on course. And indeed, when schools reopen next week, we shall have more than 9 million learners under the CBC curriculum. The next point is that my administration has also progressively expanded education infrastructure to accommodate the growing environment. This includes classrooms, desks, and chairs, as well as electricity connectivity. Indeed, since 2013, over 90% of our schools have been connected to the national electricity grid, while some of our schools in off-grid areas have been provided with solar installations. In keeping with my pronouncement during the Mashuja Day of 2021, regarding the building of an additional 10,000 classrooms to support the establishment of junior secondary schools, I am pleased to inform you that so far, 6,470 classrooms are due for completion by the end of this month, and the remaining classrooms will be completed in the second phase of the program. Point number five is that we have also remained focused on education quality. My administration has provided free books to every child, and we as a country have now achieved a pupil to book ratio of one in all our public and secondary, primary and secondary schools. Indeed, recognizing the centrality of teachers in raising education quality, we have also invested in a robust teacher training program and provided the budgetary allocation for teacher as raising it from Kenya shillings 116.4 billion in 2013 to Kenya shillings 288.6 billion in the current financial year. We have hired a total of a a total of 120, 153,000 teachers since 2013, and institutionalized the internship program within the TSC, supported a transparent and accountable promotion system for teachers, and also introduced a comprehensive medical cover for all teachers and their dependents. We have also implemented reforms in the administration of our national exams, and today we can see the results of some of those reforms. 